I'm Lindsay Littleson and I'm the author of The Titanic Detective Agency and new reading book Terror on Titanic. One of the main characters in the Titanic Detective Agency is Johan Servan Svensson, a 14 year old Swedish boy who is travelling alone in third class on the ship. I had to do a lot of research for the Titanic Detective Agency and some of that research involved finding out what it was like to be a third class passenger on RMS Titanic. For example, what were the cabins like? Did the passengers have enough to eat? What was there to do on the board ship? And what were the disadvantages of being in third class when the ship started to sink? In most other ships at that time, third class passengers were known as steerage passengers. And the passengers often slept in large dormitories in very basic, uncomfortable conditions. But on Titanic, the passengers in third class slept in proper cabins, some two berths, some four, or more, up to ten. The cabins were located on the lower decks, at the ends of the ship where engine noise was an issue. The beds had white star bed linen, and some of the cabins even had wash basins. Unlike in first and second class, the third class toilets were self-flushing on Titanic. This was because the designers were concerned that the passengers would be used to outhouses and chamber pots and they wouldn't know how to work a flushing toilet. There were also, interestingly, only two baths for over 700 third class passengers. There was a large dining room where passengers could eat together. It was nowhere near as luxurious as dining areas in first class but the tables had white linen cloths and the room was spotlessly clean and bright. The passengers could choose what they wanted to eat from menus. They could have porridge and bread and marmalade for breakfast, soup and roast beef with boiled potatoes for lunch and cold meats and cheese with bread for their tea. It wasn't fancy, but the food available on Titanic was in stark, stark contrast to the conditions on other ships where often steerage passengers had to bring enough food of their own to last the entire voyage. The third class passengers had a common room with a piano where they could gather to chat and socialise. On the night of the sinking, a party was held there where passengers played instruments and danced together. The party ended about 10 o'clock. An hour later, Titanic hit an iceberg and started to sink. 61 children aged 14 and under died in the Titanic disaster. Two were young crew members. The rest were almost all passengers in third class. Third class passengers had several major disadvantages during the sinking. Many of them spoke languages other than English, and that night all the instructions were being shouted in English. Also, the lifeboats were located on the boat deck, and there had been no lifeboat drills to show passengers how they should get there in the event of an emergency. To get to the boat deck, the third class passengers had to access first and second class areas that they'd previously been told not to enter. Some were told by stewards to stay in the cabins and wait for further instructions. But those instructions never came. The high locked gates that are shown in the Titanic movie are there for dramatic effect. The gates between the aft well deck where third class passengers gathered and the stairs to the boat deck were only waist high and even if they were locked they could easily be clambered over. But many passengers didn't realise the terrible danger they were in until it was too late and most of the lifeboats had already been moored. Passengers like Frederick and Augusta Goodwin, who were travelling in third class on Titanic with their six children. Tragically, the whole family died in the sinking. 
The body of the unknown child buried in Halifax Cemetery after the Titanic disaster it wasn't identified as little Sydney Goodwin until 2007. So I'm going to leave you with a writing challenge. I want you to imagine that you're Johan and you've just got on to Titanic. You've had a look around the ship, you've seen into your cabin. Write a postcard from third class passenger Johan to his mother in Sweden on the first day of the voyage. Think about images and font style on the front of Titanic postcards from that time. Use them for inspiration. Describe the third class cabin, Johan's first meal on board Titanic, and how you imagine he's feeling about leaving his mother and his four little brothers behind in Sweden. Remember, postcards are written in an informal tone and in the first person. Good luck.